Now, as we mentioned, their oil price is spiking after OPEC Plus members announced a cut to production by an additional 1 million barrels per day. It comes amid a price slump in the aftermath of SVB's collapse and ongoing speculation over demand destruction. The cuts could well raise gas prices in the U.S. and affect an already tricky battle with inflation. Here to explain, Yahoo Finance's Ines Ferre. Hey, Ines. Hey, Rochelle, and just taking a look at what Wall Street analysts are saying about this surprise announcement, they are basically now expecting oil to go up through the end of the year. So you're looking at now forecasts for price targets for crude oil from Goldman Sachs, now them raising their forecast to $95 a barrel, up from $90 a barrel. For 2024, the end of 2024, Goldman is expecting oil to reach $100 a barrel, up from $97 a barrel. Also, you've got Capital Economics, which is all also raise its forecast to $90 a barrel up from 85. Now what this does for gas prices and diesel which so much affects the cost of goods and services. Well Andy Lippo from Lippo Associates is saying that if oil goes up by $5 per barrel then you can expect gasoline prices to go up anywhere between 12 and 15 cents a gallon. Uh, the timing of this couldn't be really worse because you are going into the summer driving season spring and summer driving and also, you've got hurricane season, which is coming up in a couple of months. Now, what could central banks do because of this, because inflation is expected to perhaps rise if you are seeing energy prices going higher? Well, the reaction from central banks could be hawkish. But remember, if the reaction is hawkish, then that would slow down economies and then that would reduce demand for oil. But keep in mind that the Fed also looks at core inflation. This is the cost of goods and services, excluding the price of energy and food. So if the Fed is looking at core inflation, perhaps it won't deter the Fed from continuing on with its path, which appears to be a slowing of rate hikes. All right. Thank you for that update there. Inez Ferre there for us.